Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello incredible student and thank you so much for having me I'm delighted to be here What a beautiful day it is I'm so happy to be sharing it with you How are you feeling today? I hope you are all great I'm Mr. Surur, an English teacher of Al Muslim Center High School In this video, I'm going to share with you the passive voice Before starting, let's recite Basmalah together Bismillahirrahmanirrahim the passive voice is frequently used in our daily life. You can find it in magazine, newspaper, academic writing, scientific report, etc. Do you know how and when to use passive voice? Well, these are the points that I'm going to share with you. Do you know that our Holy Quran also apply passive in the composition of its verse? As you can see in Surah al shikok verse 21, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإذا قرأ عليهم القرآن لا يسجدون which means and when the Quran is recited to them they don't prostrate to Allah creativity and critical thinking will be integrated as the leadership value for this chapter the passive always needs be plus past participle be will change Past participle never change. Let's talk about the present. How do you say be in the present? Well, we say am, is, are, plus past participle. Let's take a look at the example. Rice is ground in Asia. Rice is ground in Asia. The camcorder is made in Japan. The camcorder is made in Japan. Now let's talk about the past. How do you say be in the past? Well, I say was or were plus past participle. So for example, the phones were made in China. The phones were made in China. There are two kinds of sentences, active and passive. Active means the subject first. Let's look at the example. Active. The company sells the computers. The company sells the computers. The man broke his umbrella. The man broke his umbrella. The passive voice means the object first. Let's look at the example. The computers are sold. The computers are sold. His umbrella was broken. His umbrella was broken. After knowing the pattern of passive, let's talk about why we use passive voice. There are three reasons to use passive voice. The first, when the subject is a noun. If you do not know who did the action, you can use passive. Yesterday, I was window shopping in Galaxy Mall and somebody stole my wallet and ran away. I do not know who the person was. So I can say my wallet was stolen. My wallet was stolen. Secondly, when the subject is clear, if you suddenly know who do the action, you can use passive voice. I was born on June 13, 1994. I was born on June 13, 1994. Instead of saying, my mother bore me on June 13, 1994. Finally, when this subject is not important, if the person who did the action is just not important to the sentence, just take it out and use passive voice. The roads were fixed quickly. The roads were fixed quickly. Who fixed them? Who cares? They were fixed. They can drive. I'm happy. Well, incredible leaders, it is easy to understand a passive voice, isn't it? Okay, now let's check your understanding by doing some questions. The first question, this is a dialogue between Farhan and Tio. Farhan asks, why do you prefer Surya department store to others? Tio answers, because the items blah 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 at reasonable price. You can decide the answer. A is sold. B are sold. C was sold, D sold, E were sold. Okay, this is the question number two. This is the dialogue between Yakin and Nia. Yakin says, last night a thief broke into my brother's house. Nia answers, really? What blah 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 from the house? You can choose one of the following answers. A, he took, B, it was taken, C, are taken, B, was taken, E is taken. Okay, don't forget to share your answer in the column below. That's all our lesson today. Keep smiling, be a great student, stay respectful to your teacher. Thanks for watching. Support us by giving you like, 
comment and wait for the next video. See you next time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.